Hello, I'm Rob with ScrappyDoo.com, and I hope you're ready for another great tutorial. Alright, so we're in the Make the Cut software, and in this tutorial we're going to show you how to use the shadow feature that's built in to this program. So we're going to go ahead and add some shadow to you know, a shape. We're going to add a shadow to some text and show you how it's done. It's going to be real short, real quick, because it's that easy. So all right, I just have a project over here. I'm just going to click over here, and here you can see I have the text, and then I have, you know, the shape. And I'm going to show you two different ways to to shadow. Uh, you know, so here's here's the first way. You draw that that blue box, you know, around around what you're trying to shadow, making sure that it has those uh, those blue dashed lines around it. You go ahead and go to Edit, Shape Magic, and then Shadow. And we'll put a nice little shadow on there. All right, that was easy. Now, uh, if you're into the keyboard shortcuts, it's uh, it's even faster. So, here you go. Do the same thing. Draw the box around the shape, and just hit the Control H button, and that will add that nice shadow. Now, uh, you can go ahead and separate those two pieces. You can use utilize the visibility feature. You know, say you wanted to to cut the star, uh, cut this star but not the other star. So you'd go to the star you do not want to cut and change the visibility to no and it will not cut that star. As you can see it has like a little red circle down there in the middle. Anything with that little red circle it's not going to cut. I think it's actually a no sign. So there you go. So with that I'm Rob with ScrappyDo.com and I hope to see you next time. Thank you.